Before our daughter Tallulah was born, we used to sail with our fur child Marley. He's a purebred whippet that we got as an eight week old pup before boat life when we were travelling around Australia in our bus froth. Then along came old COVID and flipped the world and travel upside down. We opted to stay together in a foreign country and wait this ordeal out, only to have pressure of being kicked out of our host country. Uh, any foreign national that's been here through COVID and had their visas automatically extended, you now have until the 21st of April to leave the country. So we have, we're getting kicked out. With nowhere for us to go and not knowing what would happen to our Mali man, we made the arrangements for him to be exported back to our home country of Australia where we knew he was safe. But after months of preparation, He's finally here. everything is aligned for him to return to us. We've been in Bangkok for Benita to receive emergency explant surgery. This coincidentally aligned with Marley's pre-organised travel. It's been one crazy year for us, full of ups and downs. Our new boat is nearly ready to sail, Benita's health is now on the mend, and the final piece of the puzzle is to bring our fur baby back to be with us. Marley's gonna come and live with us tomorrow, okay? Does that sound good? And Marley come here. Yeah, are you, yeah? So he's gonna come and live with us. Do you, Marley you come here, is that a good place? idea? Yeah. Yeah. You excited to see Molly? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go get Molly now, okay? Yeah, I now, Molly. Are you gonna get Molly? I get up. Let's go get our fur baby. Let's get a floor. Let's go get him. Let's turn into floor. Woohoo! Got Molly's lead. You gonna take him for a walk? Yeah, yeah. My, my daughter. Molly's coming, isn't he? Yeah. My hair coming. Look, Dad, the big puppy. Whoa, we had the puppy. My daughter coming, Daddy. My, my mommy coming, yeah. Daddy, turn the lights on. Yes, my thing. He's finally here. He's finally here. Here's the car. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Mommy! Oh, it's Mommy! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you got the got his lead ready? He's Mommy! Oh, you see his tail wagging. Mommy! Oh, back. Jump in, buddy. You got to sit in the back, buddy. In the back. In the back. Sorry, mate. <laughs> in the back. Off you go. You see, you remember, sit, skin, sit, skin, drop, bang, over, drop, drop, over, over, oh, it's a bit cramped, okay, okay, doesn't matter, go for it, go for it, go for it.
What are we doing today? Right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on the ones and twos. Smash some bitumen. From here on, we got 10 hours drive across Thailand, back to Phuket. <laughs> <laughs> Day two into our road trip back to Phuket and it's been quite a boring ride <laughs> so far. Uh, not so boring for Yosh, it's quite um, hectic driving but in other regards it's uh, pretty boring. We thought we'd do a Q&A. The first question is why did you go back to Thailand and how long did you need to stay out before returning? Okay so if you, if you know so we bought the boat in Thailand and then we fixed it up, put it in the water and sailed it to Malaysia and then from there we've come back to Thailand again. I'm pretty sure that's what they're asking about. So when we first bought the boat we were on a very tight time schedule to get it in the water and to, make, and to leave the country. So part of the requirement upon purchase was that it needed to leave within I think like 60 days. Uh, and it actually needed quite a lot of work so we just tried to get it seaworthy so that we could sail it out of the country on time and then in Malaysia we did some more boat work there but there's some boat work that is better to have done in Thailand than in Malaysia and vice versa and so we did uh, some of the job in Malaysia if you want to do work yourself it's good to do it in Malaysia because the the marinas are really cheap and hauling out all of that is a lot cheaper than Thailand so um, you do all the work yourself in Malaysia and then if you want to get skilled labor it is good to do that in Thailand because they you know they have really skilled labor here and so one of the jobs that we needed to have done is the back davits on our boat and that's stainless steel work so we've come back to Thailand to have somebody fabricate that up for us and um, we also had some fabric like we had to uh, have something sewn as well which we had done in Thailand and then Malaysia is really good yeah. for having parcels sent to you tax-free yeah uh, so whereas Thailand you need to import and potentially pay large tariffs yeah so whatever sort of products that we're having for the boat or need need for the boat to get sent from international get them sent to Malaysia because it's free yeah. yeah yeah there's just different things that are good for each country and um, yeah we're still sort of uh, getting the boat ready to become blue water cruising so the the back davits is so that it can hold our big solar panels and we can be a, a solar powered boat rather than a generator powered boat yeah I hope that answered your question how long did you have to be out of Thailand I'm pretty sure the timeline in, in Thailand, like for the time to go and come back, you can just jump on a plane the same day. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But yeah. being by a sailboat, you can't exactly do that anyway. Like you, yeah. uh, you have to sail out. And it all depends on what visa you are on as well. Because if you enter by a boat and you get a boat visa, you need to leave. If you're a captain or crew, you need to leave on that boat. Unless you pay like a 20,000 baht bond, which is $1,000. Yeah. Um, yeah, to be able to fly out. Yeah, so yeah, like I said, some people just fly to Kuala Lumpur and then fly back into Thailand to renew their visas. Even Penang, I think yeah. Penang's the short little visa flight run that people do. It's but, nice, yeah. yeah, but for us initially, the boat had to leave. So we all had to leave um, and then come back again. What is Tallulah's new favorite word? There's amazing lots now. Amazing. And she burps and she farts. She goes, fart or dad farts. Oh, she says, and then she says, excuse, excuse me. me. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and actually, a new word is Mali. 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 Yeah. <laughs> She's so sweet with him. That, that, uh, that takes up to a lot of other questions that people have been asking as well, which is, uh, how's Mali doing? What's Mali up to? How's Marley, 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 Well, I don't know, why don't you just go asking yourself? Hey buddy, how are ya? You liking the road trip, Marley? Marley's back! Marley's back! Yeah, Marley's really good. Marley's back! Woo! Marley's yeah. back! Yeah, our family feels complete again. Yeah. Yeah, so it's been really awesome. Yay! He hasn't been on the new boat yet, so that's going to be fun. 
and part of the road, part of the time of hanging around in Bangkok for so long as well was not only just for Benita's health and surgery and stuff and recovery, but was also we had arranged for Marley to be uh, imported into Thailand quite a quite a while ago. Yes, it's uh, been a long time coming. It just I? coincidentally uh, that <laughs> Benita's surgery was uh, in Bangkok and then Marley was arriving there, so we just had to make plans up on the whim. Yep. It was organised and paid for like months ago mm. before any of this sort of stuff had happened. So, yeah, we're just yeah. glad that it didn't, it all worked out perfectly because yeah. I was I was healed enough as well to had like 10 days, I think. Uh, I was 10 days post surgery picking Marley up, so yeah, yeah, yeah so it was plenty of time <laughs> yeah. for, for recovery. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. but no, uh, it's amazing. Marley's bloody awesome. Check him out. Look at him, he's back. Marley. <laughs> You're a handsome boy. You're a handsome boy. Yes, but you just doesn't trust my judgment when I go to book accommodation. So this is our second night on the road. I booked the last one and your shot was gonna really be good. Your shot was oh he's like, oh it's gonna be so crap, it's gonna be so crap. And it was amazing and it was cheap, so I did a good job. Yeah. You and did. now today I'm saying no, like the accommodation tonight, it's good, you know, and he keeps asking me about it and he's But I'm judging me, the area, you know, like the Don't area yesterday. Road. Surprisingly just turned great and touristy whereas like there's definitely not touristy yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. team>, mate. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, some of the accommodations are little like can be a little bit hit and miss, kilometers. like Turn right onto the, the walls can be mouldy and stuff hit like miss. that. They can so, be terrible. Okay, they can be really bad, you yeah, know. You're sleeping in someone's bedroom out the back. Yeah. They got their stuff stuffed under the bed. <laughs> But no, I'm telling you, it's going to be good at comp. It's going to be good. Oh, classic. We'll just have to wait and see, Josh. It's funny because we're always tight asses, so we always go and try to find the cheapest, nicest looking <laughs> joints. So, like, it's always, we never know what we're going to get. If it is going to be good or if it's just going to be a full on den. All right, let's wait and see, eh? Hey? Stop being a tight ass, eh? Hey? It might be a bit denny. Just a little bit denny. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. We're back on the boat. This is Marley's first time ever being on here, and you can just see that he's so stoked to be here. As soon as he saw the dinghy, like our, our friend brought the dinghy back over to us on the on the beach. As soon as he saw the dinghy, he ran over and jumped in our friend's dinghy. He was just like straight away, yeah. You see his little heart singing. All right, let's. Uh... So we've been away from the boat for a couple of weeks. We've had a guy here called Simi looking after it. So it's really, we're, we're on a mooring and uh, yeah, Simi was looking after it and good thing he was because they had apparently 64 knots of wind uh, one of the days. Buses. Yeah, a couple of buses while we were gone. Oh, 50s. And so it was just nice to be able to check in with him and just make sure the boat was okay. And he looked after our dinghy as well for us. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh no. started this morning we had just a lot of loose ends from arriving here last night and but yeah it's like 8 30 um, and we're gonna go for our first beach mission with Marley we tried last night but um, it started raining on us so we're gonna try again this morning okay come on let's go to the park boy, boy Marley Still going. 
Yay! Yeah, he's, he's probably found something really stinky. <laughs> yes, the grass buddy! <laughs> wow! Woof. Well, it's ended in a sun shower. We're nice and cool, but Good we uh, season, eh? aren't 100% sure on the state of the hatches, so. <laughs> Take good, take good, Molly man. <laughs> <laughs>